Well, thank you everybody for coming and I really want to especially thank these four leaders in our community, Shan, Ken, Father Andre, and Don Worm, who have worked so hard already to try and make our community a, a city that is sa has community safety and well-being for everybody. And that is what I want to talk with you about today. What I will do as mayor to make sure this is a city that has community safety and well-being for everyone. Because we live in a great city, but we cannot consider ourselves successful as a city if people do not feel safe walking on our streets and if people are left behind as the city grows and changes. We all know that Saskatoon has one of the highest crime rates in the country. Why? Because our systems are broken, broken and they are failing our people. From my experience working in this community for the last 14 years, I've seen it over and over again. Our mental health, our addictions, our social services, our justice and our police systems are not working together. Millions of dollars is being wasted and it is not providing the outcomes this community deserves. For example, in 2014, Shan Landry was helped to bring together a study to track what kind of resources did it take to respond to the needs of the most chronically homeless people on our street? And it was identified that just for 20 individuals, $2.7 million was spent for spending night in jail, ambulance calls, going, spending nights in emergency rooms, and spending night at the Dubai Centre. $2.7 million for 20 people. And where were those individuals at the end of the year? the exact same place as they were at the beginning. It's not improving the lives of our people. We also know that as a province, we have the highest rate of incarceration of, of any other province in the country. Our youth incarceration rate in Saskatchewan is twice the national average. This is not acceptable. Our systems are not working. Our mayor has had an opportunity in the last 13 years that he's been mayor to show leadership on this issue. And what has happened? In 2015, when it was announced that once again, Saskatoon had the highest crime rates in the province, in the country, I'm sorry, what did he say? He questioned the statistics. In 20, 2003, in his first year as mayor, one of his first actions was to remove two citizens from the Board of Police Commissioners. Politicizing this very important oversight body and making it less transparent and accountable. And he has fought against adding citizens back ever since. And in 2011, at a time as we were growing and issues of homelessness and community safety were growing on our streets, the Safe Streets Commission was created to create a high level body to respond to this issue with the mayor as a key leader. And what did the mayor do? He let it die, without any real progress or actions. I have been a member of the Board of Police Commissioners for the last five years. I have just finished a term on the Canadian Association of Police Governance, learning about best practices from across this country and across this continent about how to respond to community safety and well-being. And what I have, as a councillor and as, a, as a, somebody working within the community, with community organizations for the last 14 years, I have learned and I've worked on issues of homelessness, downtown safety, restorative justice, reconciliation in our community. All of these experiences have shown me and all what I have learned from these leaders behind me is that we will not arrest our way out of our community safety issues. And I also know we will not solve these problems with Band-Aid solutions. There is no path to creating community safety and well-being without addressing the failures in our systems, where we are not working together and the systems are not coordinated. As a councillor for Ward 6, which includes the downtown, I've been working hard for a more coordinated approach. I have brought police, the Tribal Council, Comfy, the Lighthouse, community support officers, the United Way together to work towards the plant and homelessness and to work towards addressing some of the issues of downtown safety that have been occurring on our streets. I know the mayor has a chance to bring this work to the next level. And so one of my first priorities as mayor 
will be to restart the Safe Streets Commission with a clear mandate to break down the silos between the departments that are broken and to advocate to all levels of government for a more coordinated and systematic approach to addressing community safety and well-being in our community. But what makes me hopeful about what we can achieve in Saskatoon is that I have talked to leaders throughout this city, leaders in the Indigenous community, leaders in the business community, leaders in community organizations, leaders in the health system, who know we can do better and they want to be part of the solution. But we need to have a more coordinated and effective response if we're going to get there. We will succeed when our resources are used wisely, but more importantly, when our children end up in high school, not in jail. When people are supported in housing, not supported to live on our streets. And when we can all walk through our streets feeling safe in our neighborhoods. I have many concrete ideas about how we can address community safety and well-being that are on my platform that will be released today on my website. But this is the critical issue we are facing as a community today and that I will address and how and this is how I'll approach it if if elected as mayor on October 26th. Thank you again everybody for joining me today. I look forward to discussing all these issues with you more over the course of the campaign. Thank you. Thank you.